All right, what's up guys? I um, am sitting in the parking lot at the Chesapeake Bay right now, uh, Turkey Point to be more specific. I've never been here before. I should have brought the boat along. It's really windy out today and everybody says this gets like really choppy in here. And I actually wasn't even sure if there's gonna be docks in the water cause it's starting to, it's getting close to winter time now, it's December. And where I'm from in Lancaster, all the docks come out of the water once it gets close to winter time cause of ice. But uh, hopefully you can see this right now. The docks are there and the water's like flat, calm, tiny bit of chop on the surface right now. And as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh crap, should have brought the boat. <sighs> but this is my first time here, so I'm gonna get out. I brought some rods along, I'm gonna just shore fish a little bit. Uh, hopefully find something, I don't know. I love fishing big water. And I'm gonna get out of the truck here quick. Sorry for any wind noise you're gonna hear today. Actually, it's pretty calm down here. It was really windy down home. Look at that, guys. This is the Chesapeake Bay. Part of it, it's like a little cove. Anyways, I absolutely love fishing big water. I hate the lakes around home because they're all super tiny. They're all electric only. Um, and they're just boring to fish. Gonna try and get on a bite. Mostly just gonna adventure around. Try and figure out some stuff, see some stuff. So I'm actually right across from Aberdeen Proving Grounds. Um, it's like a spot where they test, I think it's where they test military stuff, like, like guns and crap like that. But, uh, I think it's really test. I know they keep stuff there, like tanks and aircraft and stuff. And actually where I fish on the river, a lot of times they do maneuvers and jets down through there. And they'll be like a couple hundred feet up. And it's pretty cool to watch. But anyways, today I'm sure in the background you'll hear like booming and stuff going off. That's, I guess that's them testing stuff because it's not supposed to thunderstorm today. And you can hear stuff rumbling in the back. Like that right there, I don't know if you heard that or not. But you can hear stuff rumbling in the background and I'm guessing that's what it is. Brought along a jig and a blade bait because that's what I was using back home. And I figured it's gotta be fairly similar here. I'm gonna try and get something going on. I'm gonna start off flipping this jig around these pillars here on this dock. It is super nice down here though guys. If you're in the Maryland PA area and you want to start fishing the bay or looking for a new spot on the bay, check out Turkey Point. So uh, they have like a campground here. I guess there's a lighthouse or something around here. Um, this is a pretty cool boat launch. It's, uh, you can probably back two in here if you have like good drivers. Back one in here, one in over there. So you can launch four boats at a time. Got a huge parking lot. It's not like super deep, but it's definitely deep enough to launch a big boat. Like I could launch a bass boat here, no problem. You could launch like a big day boat here, no problem. Look at the bay though, what a beautiful day. Totally regret not bringing the boat because it's stinking perfect out right now. So right now I'm heading over to some big rock ledges they have out there for this marina. Uh, sorry my camera keeps moving, I don't have a good grip. I'm gonna check out this little board over here though, see if I can figure out any information. There's some crap about catfish and they need my help. This is the uh, Rogue Harbor, that's the name of this one. So, 
This is the Chesapeake Bay. This is the northeast that goes up into like the bottom of Pennsylvania. Um, if you guys saw the, the Bassmaster Elite Series on Chesapeake Bay, they were up in like this top corner here launching out of Anchor Marina. So you come down the bay. This is all land here, obviously. This is the campground I was saying about earlier. We are right here. Right here. This is the Elk River that goes up into like, well, not the bottom of Pennsylvania. I don't think it goes up that far, but it's heading that direction. So we're right here. If we look up this direction, that's that direction right there. And if you look down this direction off into the Turkey Point here, that's the name of this. Looking right here, looking down this direction, that's that direction that the sun is messing up my camera in. That's that direction. That's where we're going right now. So, without further ado. Oh, here's a depth chart. With numbers so small you can't read. So I'm here. The numbers are so little. Uh, it's like six foot, seven foot, around in here, 15 foot, like out in there. So it's like super shallow. There's the outhouse and marina store. I believe it's closed. So you guys didn't see it, but I have my camera set up on a tripod doing a cool time lapse of some waves and stuff on the beach. And like I said earlier, it's kind of windy out, as you can probably hear right now. Anyways, the wind blew my camera over, and my lens totally went head first into the sand. Nice. Trying to go for a reaction strike on this rock. Probably should have started back there. And fished out, but whatever. It's so shallow right here. All right, guys. So I'm back in the truck. I'm not leaving yet. Video is not over yet. So keep watching. I'm gonna go check out this lighthouse that's supposed to be up here somewhere. Um, and then I'm gonna head up to where the Bassmaster Elite Series was last summer, where they where they launched out of, and where the weigh-in was and stuff. Um, I was up there this spring, but I'm gonna go check it out again just to do something today because I'm bored. One last look at the rope boat launch here. It's pretty cool. It'd be even cooler if I could focus on it out there. All right, I made it to what I think is the lighthouse. Got all these uh, pretty cool signs here. Telling me a bunch of stuff that I'm not going to read. Got a map. I'm here. Apparently I gotta hook the hoys out to there. Uh, hopefully it's further on the map than it actually is. I don't feel like a long walk. Pretty cool out there though, you got like endless fishing for miles and miles and miles, whatever you want to fish. Now I'm going to go try and find a stinking lighthouse I walked four miles to find. Still haven't found. Check me out. Lighthouse Trail. We're on it now, boys. Oh yeah. There she is. She's a beaut. She's a lot smaller than I thought. <sighs> I was expecting like a big tower with like, I don't know, cool stuff. Explore your Chesapeake, folks. Let's go explore this orange fence right here, yes. I love orange fences in my nice scenery. Man, look at that. That's stinking beautiful. Cliff. Bay. There's my lighthouse. Not exactly the uh, coolest thing ever. Probably not even close. But it's so neat to see some old stuff like this. 
kind of want to come night fishing down here on the boat just to like see the lighthouse. The enemy returns. Well, that's not good. Hmm. Got a big old thing right here. Welcome to Turkey Point. That's cool. I'm not gonna read it to you. There's my gift shop. I was hoping to get inside, but it's closed. I'm gonna switch back to the GoPro now. This historic walk takes you to the Turkey Point Light Station in Maryland, Cecil County. You will find a, a top of a 100 foot high bluff. This lighthouse is 31 and a half feet high and is visible for 13 miles. That's sick. The tower and keeper's quarters were built in 1833 for $4,355. Wow. So this is a map of the upper bay by C.P. Hawkendoosey, or I guess he's French. And it was made in 1799. That is really cool. So like I just read back there on that little plaque sign that said, the enemy returns. It basically said there were some British ships out there with 450 men anchored off. And I guess they would rowboat in here ashore. And they were basically terrorizing the town people up the Elk River and the Susquehanna River over here in the northeast. The other cool thing to think about too is they sailed the whole ways from the other end of the Atlantic Ocean and hit this Chesapeake Bay and sailed up into it. And they didn't have like modern GPS and all these other chart plotters and depth charts and navionics and all these hummingbird graphs and all that kind of stuff. They did it with some mapping of the stars and compasses and they were able to do it. I can't even find the same spot on the lake I fished the day before. And right now, I'm uh, heading back up into the northeast to where the Bassmaster Elite Series had their tournament at last year. Made it back to Black Betty. She's looking mighty fine. Alright guys, sorry about the wind. I was uh, talking to the camera and I realized I wasn't recording. Over there at that boat ramp, that's where all the Bassmaster Elite guys were backing in their boats, pulling their boats out. They had the tournament here. Uh, they have a lot of tournaments here, like for like normal guys that aren't pros. And it's the Anka Marina, that's the boat launch you're going to be using. Over there at that restaurant, it's called the Naughty Goose. Uh, in the summertime, they have a bunch of docks out through here. And you can park your boat along the docks, get something to eat. Up in the restaurant, it's pretty cool. So you don't have to pull your boat out of the water. Over here in this field, and I think maybe that pavilion right there, is where they had the weigh-ins for the elites. That's why. There's some seagulls out there. So I'm about to get covered in seagull poop, I think. Probably all kinds of fish underneath this dock. So, if you go down that way, and to the left, it's where we were earlier at that big lighthouse and fishing earlier. This is the northeast up here. This is the top of the northeast, actually. All that over there, we fished earlier this year. Pretty cool down that way would be like the Atlantic Ocean. Look how big these boats are. Like, turn left onto West Second Street, then turn right onto West. My boat's Street. 21 foot. Turn right onto Cherry Street, then turn left And it's left probably onto like tiny Street. compared to these. Turn Look at that giant skid loader right there. I'm used to like driving little ones at work. That thing's like probably pick your house up. That's how they get them up around them big racks. It's pretty cool. I don't know if I'd want my boat hanging in the air. It's 30 foot though. I get a little nervous. And the only thing I don't like about this boat launch here is you back your boat in and you have to park your trailer way back here. So if you're fishing by yourself you have your boat out there tied off at the dock and then you have to come the whole ways back around here to park your trailer. Which like, if you have two guys, this isn't like a big deal, but if you're fishing by yourself, you don't want to like have your boat 100 yards away from you around the other side of a building where you can't see it. Cause then it's like, someone could jump in it or someone could mess with it. Or... 
All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, it wasn't like the most fishing action-packed video ever filmed, but it was pretty cool. We're going on an adventure here at the bay. Definitely gonna come back down here again. And if you've never been to Turkey Point and you live like fairly close to it, come check it out. It's, it's actually really cool. A lot of like historic things here to see. Some pretty cool trails. Uh, and the fishing looks really fun. So, um, next video actually might be fishing here. I don't even really know where it's gonna be. Everything's starting to ice up now. It's getting cold out. Um, sorry, my hat looks like a total goofball right now. But there's one last look at the bay through my window. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.